Hey everybody, Guy here with another Down and Dirty Guide. What we're going to be looking at today is how to install Arma 2 and DayZ from a fresh install. Now this isn't a total fresh install, I had already actually installed it and I had recorded the footage of me installing it and everything, but the footage was horrible, I had to redo it, but I'm not going to re-download everything. So just, just FYI, so you won't see all the install screens that you normally would when you first start Arma 2. Now, one of the first things you need to know is you do not install the beta and you do not install DayZ until you first started Arma and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. If you try to install the beta, if you try to install DayZ, things are just going to go haywire, things are just going to go wrong. So don't install those just yet. Now the first thing you want to do is actually load up Steam as an administrator. So close out of Steam, right click your Steam icon and choose the option Run as Administrator. A different way you can do this is you can right click the icon, go down to properties, choose the advanced button, and choose run as administrator. And that makes it so that Steam always runs as an administrator. Now load back up Steam. And the next step that you want to do is actually right click Arma 2 and choose properties. Then click the set launch options button. And there you want to type in dash no splash. This makes it so that the Bohemia Interactive logo doesn't just splash in front of your face all the time, so you don't have to wait five minutes for it to go away. It just makes it so you can get into the game faster. Additionally, I added dash no pause and dash window, and that's just some of my preferences. So copy those values, and then double click Arma 2. Make sure play Arma 2 is selected, and hit play or start. You actually want to load Arma 2 first, and that's because there's going to be some install processes that happen. There's going to be, you know, BattleEye might be installing, all this kind of stuff. And when you load the beta, when you load DayZ before you do this step, it just totally screws everything up. So if you've ever done all that, you know, I do recommend that you do a fresh install like I did. Just delete everything and start afresh, re download everything. So as soon as Arma 2 comes up, you can go ahead and get out of it. Just close it, exit. Next step you want to do is right click Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead and the same thing, set your launch options, put in dash no splash, or you can just paste like I do right here, and hit OK, hit close, double click Operation Arrowhead, and you can choose either play Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead or combined operations, just pick combined operations, it's fine, and hit play. And the same thing, combined operations, uh, or Operation Arrowhead will go through an installation procedure. You have to do this again before you load the beta, before you load Daisy. When you download anything through Steam, it doesn't install it right away. You have to load the game to first install stuff. And that's one of the big things that people are doing is they're they're loading the beta and they're loading Daisy before they even start our Operation Arrowhead for the first time. You have to start both Arma 2 and Operation Arrowhead just to get your initial your initial models loaded to get battle eye installed to get all this stuff going. So once Arma 2 Combined Operations actually opens, you can go ahead and exit out of it as well. So now we're going to start the download procedure. So open up your favorite browser and go into Google and type in Arma 2 Beta and open up that first link and download the latest beta patch and your download will begin. Once that's downloaded, Go ahead and open up the zip file and double click the exe. You don't have to extract it, you can if you want, but you don't have to extract it, you can run it straight from the zip file. Hit yes to install the beta. It'll extract and then you'll get a little prompt, do you want to continue? Just hit yes. And the install will go ahead and go through. Updating 100%, all set, hit OK. Next what you want to do is you want to go to daysmod.com and choose the download DAISY button in the upper left hand corner. Now you have some choices, you have different mirrors, you could use 6 update, or of course we're doing the manual way here. So um, I do prefer the torrent, but you can hit the US mirror. And the reason I like the torrent is because it puts it all in one file. You don't have to extract anything else really, it puts it all in one nice big file for you. But let's say we're doing the manual way, and you click here for manu manual installation. Just download all those files, extract them to one folder, and then go ahead and open up the folder that you extracted them all to, or the torrent folder that you had downloaded it to. So now what you want to do is open up your Steam folder, wherever it's located, and double click Steam Apps. In your Steam Apps folder, you want to click and open the Common folder. From the Common folder, you want to open up your Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. In here, click New Folder. 
and what you want to call it is at symbol daisy. Open up that folder and in there create another folder called add-ons. And of course open up that one. Now what you can do is go ahead and select all your daisy files and all the code and move it over into the add-ons folder. Or you can copy and paste, you know, up to you if you want to back up those daisy files. So the next thing you want to do is back out to your Arma 2 operation head folder. Right click your Arma 2 OA.exe and click rename and you want to call it backup or anything, you know, just something that you know it's a backup. Next, open up the expansion folder and find the beta folder. Open that up and copy the Arma 2 OA.exe file. Go back to your Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead main folder and in there, right click and hit paste. And now we're almost done. We've downloaded the files, we've installed the files, we've gotten the beta where it needs to be. What you need to do now is get your correct startup parameter. So I've included mine in the description below. So you can go ahead and copy and paste that. You can find your other startup parameters wherever you want, but probably easier if you just go to the description. What my startup parameters are, the first line is this is what loads the beta. The dash mods at daisy, of course, is what loads the mod. No splash, of course. That makes it so the Bohemia Interactive logo, logo doesn't come up. Max memory and extra threads, they don't really do too much to speed up your game, nor does Dash World Empty. But I think I want you to note about Dash World Empty, it's a great startup parameter to have because what it does is it eliminates the startup world when you first load up Arma 2. That's like if you notice when I loaded Arma 2 originally, there was this big battleship. What Dash World Empty does, Dash World equals Empty does, it makes it so that you only load a sky and an ocean when you first load up Arma 2. And that just makes it so Arma 2 loads up just a bit faster, but it doesn't actually increase the speed of the game. So we're going to copy all the startup parameters, and we're going to go back to Steam. Right-click the Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead game and click Properties. Hit Set Launch Options. Select everything that's in there currently and paste over it. Hit OK. Hit Close. Now, this is where kind of people will mess up. They'll they get in the habit of right clicking the game and hitting play game right away. And you don't want to do that. You could hit launch armor 2 combined operations, but don't right click and hit play game because that automatically loads up operation 2 arrowhead. Just double click the game and choose the launch armor 2 combined operations option. So we're going to go right into multiplayer. The first thing you want to actually do if you're doing this for the first time, load up your filter settings in the bottom side and in the mission type in daisy. This will just make sure that you only see the daisy missions so you don't accidentally load something else up. Here I'm going to go ahead to New York 7 just because it's a server I know I've connected to before and I know it works. So we're going to connect to it, hit OK and eventually it loads up and as you can see daisy works awesome.